I made this typographic effect design you are watching now in Canva. However, I will show you how to do this. So let's go to the screen of my phone. In order to make typographic effect design, all you need to do, come to the upper side of the home page of the Canva, then click on YouTube thumbnail. Therefore, you click on the blank page. This is the blank page. Now, the next thing you are going to do, you click on elements. I want my design to be based on cucumber typography effect design. As a result of it, all you need to do, click on search elements. Then type cucumber. Then you search for it. This is it. The next thing you click on graphics. Then you cannot choose your choice. But I have a particular one that I want to make use of, which I've downloaded already. Therefore, I will need to go to the upload. At the bottom here, I click on upload. Then I will need to click on this. This is the exact one I want to make use of. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I will need to drag the image to fit in the page. This is it. The next thing I will need to come to the bottom here to click on apps. I click on apps. This is it. Then you type, type craft. Then you search for it. This is it. Then you click on it. This is it. The next thing I'm going to type cucumber here. All in capital letter. Cucumber. Okay. Then I will need to come to the font. I will need to change it to Anton. I want Anton font to be there. Then I will need to click on this. Anton regular one, two, three. Then the next thing, do I want it to be on field or outline? But I don't want any of the two. I prefer it to be none. Then I will need to click on the color here. I will click on the black. Then I will need to change it to white. Okay. I'm okay with it. I will come to here. This is where we are having our write-up. Then I will need to arrange it by, you know, moving it up. This is it. I will do all the necessary thing I could do. And, okay, this is it. After then, I will need to click on add element to design. Look at it. If you observe the cucumber very well, you can see that it's in the middle of the cucumber. All I will need to do, I will make sure that the right top of the cucumber fits in the edges of the cucumber, both the upper and the lower side of the cucumber. Therefore, I will need to come here, then to still, you know, arrange it by, you know, doing all the necessary thing I could do. Let me do it that way. Okay. Then the next thing, I will come here. Update element. I click on update element. You can see that it remains a little bit. Then I will still continue. Okay, let me bring this down. Let me bring it down. Okay, the hop. Let me bring this. To the up a little bit okay then i will come to this place update element okay it seems i'm okay with it this way and if i'm not okay with it i can still go ahead to adjust it on the type craft therefore all i will need to do i will click on this Page, then I will duplicate. Then the next thing I will come to the first page, I will click on it. Then the cucumber right up, I will need to delete it to remain the 
Ukumba object. Then the next thing I go to the element at the bottom here. Then I will need to type in shapes. I will look for shapes. Okay. Let me click on this square. I click on it. Then the next thing I'm going to do, I will need to do it this way. Okay. Now, as we're having it this way, all I will need to do, I will need to click on the whole page to delete the cucumber. Now I've deleted it. Then I will need to click on the black rectangle. Then I will come to the bottom here to look for layers. Then I click on layers. The cucumber, I click on it to take it up. I want it to appear in front. Now I'm okay with it. The next thing I will need to come to the download option here. I click on download. Then I will click on download here. I want the second page to be downloaded, then I click on done. The next thing I click on download. Then the next thing I will need to come to the first page. Then I will come to the upload at the bottom here. I click on upload. Then the cucumber I've downloaded. Then I will come to the upload files. Then I will need to click on this cucumber. I click on it. Then I will click on it to have it on the page here. Then I will need to drag it to fit in the page. This is it. Then the next thing, I will need to come to the bottom here to click on effect. Then I will need to click on BG Remover. Now this is it. Then the next thing I'm going to do here, I will need to click on Effect here. Then from there I click on Duo Tone. The next thing I click on Pop. I click on it again. The next thing, the highlight color, I will need to change it to white. Then the shadow, I will need to change it to white as well. Okay. This is it. The next thing I will need to crop the shape from the right to the left. I'll start from here. Okay. I'm okay with it. I also crop from the left to the right. I'm okay with it this way. The next thing I'm going to do, I will need to come to the element at the bottom here. Then I will type shadow. Then I will click on graphics. I would need to choose a particular one that I prefer. Let me choose this. Okay. I will need to fix it here. After you might have done with this, then you click on download icon here to have your design downloaded. Therefore, this is how to make a captivating typographic effect design in Canva. If you have found this video very useful, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, share it with your family and friends, and don't forget to comment on the comment section of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.